can be restored to the honors of human history other than his imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I. Rastafari. So, what is the problem here today? When the little, we want to say, the ignorant, the don't trodden, black people in Jamaica, not all of us, but the ones that observe the utterance that the king did come, when we get up down here and say, hey, I, the Selassie, is the Almighty God. Rastafari. It caused some offense. But who are offended? The ruling class, the bourgeoisie, the ones that want to keep, want to keep us still in a mental state of bondage by the propagation and the uplifting. And we are not speaking tonight for racial degradation or inferiority or superiority, but when they put up this European Jesus before us. When they put up this European Jesus before us to say, this man is the son of God. It was a lie straight out of hell. What we realize for ourselves from that time and tonight I'm only extending what was preached by Leonard Owen coming out of the UNIA, utterance by Garvey, that we have to look to the east for the coming of the Black King. Owen knew that in the Bible that we have here today that is preached into the churches, regardless of the denomination, the five letters in the English language, J-E-S-U-S, the pastor stood up with the image of Jesus and say in the Bible, this is Jesus Christ. No, that is a lot of life. The Rastaman know that by the application of the seal of the rule, which is allowed in all schools, that any word that is difficult, the seal of it would allow us for effectual manipulation for a proper pronunciation. The Rastaman know that the teacher have said from that time and is still teaching you today that if you break up the word by the utilization of the syllable, you will get the proper sound. The Rasta know say J E never give G. J E is still J. The Rasta man know say S U S come from any word, suspect, sustain, so that word give those three letters give one sharp, profound sound. Sus. The Rasta man know that it is just us. The Rasta man know also. That J E S come from Jesse Jester Jesu, so J E S should be and still remain Jess. So we found out now that Jesus now is woolly here. We found out also that Jesus in the Bible has a flame of fire. We found out also that the man says his feet is as brands burned in a furnace. So the Rasta man was not idiotic in his depiction of a black Christ. He had at that time the Bible as a compass. They know also that the man that was risen 2,000 years ago in Palestine was not that white man Jesus, a black Christ who in your day now is revealed as king of kings and lord of lords, the camp of Zion. So, the so, so, while you are here today, you want to recognize the constitution that is given unto all of us. It enables us religious liberty as I'm here to speak tonight. To exercise my freedom of speech, even a theological way. We want to say also that the emperor is not a dead man, as only one person. Instead, 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 we look at the Lord the last time to the power of translation and wait for the for redemption of his children. We look also at the argument of repatriation, and as it was said, I think it was a couple of days ago, Sunday, if I'm right by Mona, by the Virgin, by the Whaler, by those that spoke at the time, that this repatriation is a difficult issue. I have a different concept. There are concepts that will show that the individual that can afford this individual and personal repatriation can do so because they have that resource. And I mean, the other two others is also pursuing repatriation now back to Africa, to the countries that are willing and is able to accommodate them. I speak for myself through Chara Sapphire, meaning I'm not paying no one to go. We will wait until that time. Another thing most of us is not aware of is the power of the captivity. It was, it was, a, it was an evil mind. And we say tonight it is a crocodile. In Espanol, it's a masquero. We say it was a crocodile. That blue-eyed Africa on this continent and decide to steal away the children and bring them down here for a financial advantageous disposition. 
So they work us for 400 years without any concept of redress, which means to say your conscience should rebuke you while the Indians were prospering, the Chinese were prospering materialistically speaking, and the Europeans that did the Congress, they were all profiting while one of people were suffering in China and bondage. So today now we say it is time for you now to give recognition to the evil that they have done. Yes. And whether national or internationally, come together. Yes. Rebuke your conscience and don't be like the Queen in England who have said, at that time, you know, the whole world was involved in slavery. But what it is, if you were ignorant then, Meaning your mind was retarded to recognize that we are all created equal in the sight of the Almighty. But today, now, you have come to recognition that we are equal. Why can't you look into the fact that you have absorbed it and gathered billions and zillions of dollars at our expense? Why can't your conscience rebuke you today that it will be righteous enough for you to give us even something out of our labor? But here I say today, and I will finish now. As I've said earlier, and we deny being God and the ancient council. And I did say before that if I've got the opportunity to speak, I would love for even Mr. Wayne, who we regard as one of the high priests, if he's even from a reggaeton point of view. Our brethren, Sister, Sister Kadanji, it's not that they're the only ones that have expressed desire in this folk, but presently, I think the brethren, Sister, by his excavating to Africa and the land that was given unto him, I have even heard even gold was added also. We give thanks for that. I used to tell us that the African nations are willing now to accommodate us to go back from whence we came. But I would love to see both Holy Wayla, as one of the ancient Rastaman, and the Virgin Sister, instead of approaching this repatriation individually, but instead come together. Yes, Come together. Yes. Don't let it be bony ear, sister ear. Both of them should come together. Why? Set up a website. And even to the reggae as pieces, even twice a year, both of them could generate billions of dollars for the Rastafarian community. Not only for reparation, repatriation, but while we are here for the Rastafarian development because the Rastafarians need clothes. The Rastafari needs jobs opportunity. Oh, the Rastafari needs a lot of things that this government here in Jamaica, no offense to the labor right, but neither the labor nor the PNP will truthfully speak for our proper representation. I believe, I believe my virtue here, Mr. Martin, meant well. Yes, he meant well. But, in my research to the annals of human history, I have never found any colonizing power, the slave power that will fully develop the people that they have abused. I've never found that. And that is why, when the time came for the Israelites to come out of Egypt, you realize Pharaoh did not want to let them go down. No, because Pharaoh knew that if he sent all the children of Israel, the whole Egypt would be destroyed. So what do we say from School of Richard? We will get repatriation. Yes. Now, a writer said, and I think it is Isaiah 14 for the Udana study, your compass. We shall lay all captives, whose captives we were. We shall bring them home to the holy mountain to be servants and bondmen. So I am not begging no one.